Well, a number of initiatives in the Miami Valley are working to address our area's food deserts. Two News reporter Judith Rattana tells us about the progress made in this story new at 10. A food summit as well as a Gem City Market informational meeting tonight are showing just how much work is being done to combat our food desert. While there's been a lot of work put in, there's still plenty left to do. Drive by the intersection of Salem and Superior, you'll find this vacant lot. Come 2019, it'll be the home of the new Gem City Market. We lost Aldi's, we lost Kroger's on Gettysburg, so it's definitely very important to have a grocery store within reach. Richardson's getting the word out about the community market. I'm a resident of West Dayton as well as I grew up in West Dayton, so I know how hard it is to have access to food. At an informational meeting at her thrift shop, These Deals, a Sinclair student is getting extra credit for coming to learn about the market. This is a great opportunity for families to buy quality food without going out of their way to obtain it. At the Montgomery County Food Summit, county leaders presented the food bank's new truck to distribute fresh produce. If you don't have good food, then you start to become ill. We have all sorts of problems with health issues, so it, it's, a, it's, it's a very serious situation. With efforts like this, there is noticeable progress. Two and a half, three years ago, we were the fourth hungriest city in the country. Now, or the 42nd hungriest city. Even so, he and Richardson say more work needs to be done. Hopefully this is the beginning of something great to happen in West Dayton. The Gem City Market is expected to open next year. So far, half of the $4 million needed to open it has been raised. Judith Ratana, 2 News, working for you.